In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to run a two-way ANOVA in SPSS. Now for the SPSS demonstration, I'm going to be using these following research questions. Does car acceleration differ based on the country of origin? Does car acceleration differ based on the model year? And is there an interaction between country of origin and the model year? So to get started, you'll obviously need to have SPSS open. And from there, what you'll want to do is go to Analyze, then General Linear Model, and then click on Univariate. Once you click on Univariate, you're going to get a screen that looks just like this one. From here, what you'll want to do is put your dependent variable, also known as the outcome variable, in the very top box. And in the second box where it says fixed factors, that's where you want to put your two grouping variables. So for this example, I'm putting in country of origin and the model year. Now, once your screen looks like this with the dependent variable, up at the very top and your two independent variables where it says fixed factors, you're going to want to click on plots. Now clicking on plots is going to give you your interaction plots and you're going to interpret those if the interaction is significant. If the interaction turns out to be not significant, then you could just ignore it in the output. So here I'm going, to, I'm going to create two interaction plots. You really only need to create one. I just tend to create both just so I could see which one's going to be easier to interpret. Now typically the plot that has the fewest lines is going to be the easiest one to interpret. But I'm just going to create both of them so you could see what both will look like. So what you'll need to do is put one of your independent variables where it says separate lines, and then put your second independent variable where it says horizontal axis. Once you have both variables there, you could go ahead and click add, and you'll notice that it shows the interaction in the lower box. Then if you want the se second interaction plot, you just flip the location of where the variables were. So you would put the variable that was originally at separate lines, you would put that at horizontal axis. And then the one that was in horizontal axis, you would put where it says separate lines. Once you have that, you could hit add. And then once that second interaction is added, you could hit continue. Next, what you want to do is go to post talk. And then once you click on that, you'll get this screen. What you'll want to do here is move over any of the independent variables that you have that has more than two levels. So for this example, I'm going to move over, over origin into where it says post hoc test for colon. And then here, what you'll need to do is select one post hoc method. I recommend going with either Bonferroni, Tukey, or Chaffe. For this example, I'm going to select Tukey. Now the reason why you don't need to move over model year is because it only has two levels. So if the main effect for model year happened to be significant, you would just look at the means to determine which acceleration is better. Once you've selected your post hoc method, you could go ahead and click continue. Now the last spot that we'll need to go to is options. So go ahead and click on options. And once you click on options, you'll get a screen that looks just like this one. Now here you could get the means for the grand mean, the main effects for your independent variable, and the means for the interaction. If you want that, you go ahead and move the variables over to where it says display means. I didn't end up doing that in this example because you can get that same exact information in the descriptive statistics function. It's just not as laid out as it would be if you use the display means function. So in this 
area, what I'm going to do is select descriptive statistics. I'm also going to select estimates of effect size. And what that's going to give you is the partial edit squared. And then I'm going to select homogeneity test because that's going to give us the Levine's test. Once those three things are selected, you could go ahead and click continue. And now you go ahead and click OK. After you've clicked OK, you're going to get output that looks just like this. The first table in the output is really just describing your variables and providing the ends for your independent variables. The second table is the descriptives table and it's providing you your mean, standard deviation, and n. The next table we get is the Levine's test. And based on this Levine's test, you could see that it's significant, thus suggesting that the assumption of equality of variance is not met. The next table that we get is the test of between subject effects. And this is where you will check to see if your main effects and your interaction are significant. But first, you always start with the interaction, because if the interaction is significant, then you only interpret the interaction and you ignore the main effects. So by looking at this interaction, we could see that it is significant. So technically, we would go straight to our interaction plots and interpret it and ignore the main effects. Now, if the interaction was not significant, what you would need to do is interpret the main effects that is the main effect for origin and the main effect for model year. And you would interpret these just as you would for a one-way ANOVA. You just have two of them. So if the main effect was significant and the interaction was not, you would need to then go and either interpret the post hoc analysis if you have more than two levels, or interpret the means if you only have two levels. So the next table in the output is going to be the post hoc analysis. However, since the interaction was significant, we can ignore this table. But remember, if the interaction was not significant and the main effect for origin was, we would need to interpret this post hoc analysis. Next in the output is going to be the interaction plots. Now this first interaction plot isn't really telling us too much, so I'm going to scroll down to the next interaction plot. That's why I like to create two. Based on this interaction plot, what we could say is that newer than 1975 cars have a generally slower acceleration rate when compared to cars that are 1975 or older, except for when it's a Japanese-made car. So that's everything that you need to know about running a two-way ANOVA. If you have any questions and you're one of my students, be sure to email me or text me or post a comment below.